Welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here today, number 37 of this current series on Southern California eateries. Staying in Orange County today, hopping on the bike, gonna cruise over to a place into Anaheim that I have seen many times but never stopped off at. And it looks very unique, very interesting, and quite possibly very tasty. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? Loading up the backpack with some supplies, and whenever I take the bicycle, I always bring along that, that pump there, just in case my tire needs air. The on-ramp to the 5 freeway, right there. The route I have chosen is down Catella, and then I'm going to take the next turn. I think it's the next turn, and then it's down about a mile. From this, from this spot. The Satellite Center. Check that out. There's a satellite on that sign. Still haven't figured out if I'm allowed to ride on the sidewalk through here or if I'm supposed to stay on the road. Sometimes I'm up on the sidewalk. But then sometimes I stay in the road. This is just kind of a makeshift bike lane, if you will. Seems as if traffic on this side of the street not too, not too heavy. Most were getting on the freeway back there. It's a little traffic, but not too bad. There is some heavy duty, oh, there's a Jeep. Heavy duty machinery over in, over in there. Some construction happening. Out of the palm tree section and into these, into these sections. Going right through the middle. There's some on either side of me. Cross streets of Cerritos Ave and Anaheim Boulevard. You can see the, the spot over there saying, come on in like a tractor beam. It's like a beacon. I got the all go ahead. In fact, I have 23, 22, 21 seconds to spare. George's best, George's best burgers. They have breakfast, they have lunch, they have dinner. This is a glorious looking facade, as old school as it gets. And that's why I'm here. Sometimes I'm just kind of pulled in by the way a place looks, especially when it, it screams nostalgia and vintageness. Oh man, George's best. You best get a burger. I am a self-proclaimed aficionado when it comes to Coca-Cola classic signage. Nice. 1475 is the address. And they have quarter pound char, 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 char broiled <laughs> burgers. Oh, you know I gotta get a hamburger. It's, ha it's definitely gonna happen. Payphone still intact. I'm not going to. I'm not gonna try it out to see if it has a dial tone. I'm gonna. I'm just going to, to assume that it is working. Quite operational. And the pickup window over there is open. There is a caution eight foot limit. You know, a warning there. But I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna get some takeout by going inside. That awning's awesome. This place is a throwback. And I can't eat here. There's no tables set up out front. They've all been flipped over. You know, for, for the time being during the, the current environment. I have chosen a regular hamburger. Actually, I got the cheeseburger. And I went with a green tea, which was a 85 cent upcharge from a soda. And I didn't ask if they were fries or onion rings, but I would imagine they're gonna have, it's gonna be fries. Just a few moments before the clock strikes noon. I've been trying to eat lunch, you know, around the noon time frame. Look at this. Look at the architecture of this place. This is awesome. Yeah, yeah, they don't, you don't see places like this too often anymore. This is a, a local eatery, if ever there was one. Also have sandwiches, quesadillas, dinners, salads, 
breakfast plates. I always enjoy noticing the little details. You can see how this is kind of the, the way this is built. It kind of slants up there. I don't know, I get, I get a kick out of little things. About to unlike, unlock the bicycle, and I got my bag of food here. You know it's going to be good because you can always see, you can already see the grease starting to permeate through there. But notice that there is a, there is a bee down there. You want some of this bee? Do bees eat burgers? Doesn't really show up on camera too much. The wind has kind of wafted it away. But you can see the, the goodness of the smoky, charbroiled cookery that was happening. Except the Augusta wind kind of got rid of that ambiance. Okay, I'm hungry. If you look closely, you can see Guardians of the Galaxy over there and the Incredicoaster. Have procured a, a place right here across the road with it in view, just next to the bus stop. Oh, I hear, hear a helicopter going by. <laughs> it's just out of, it's just out of frame. And this is what we're dealing with. First, the, the drink there. Got the Arizona Real Brewed Green Tea in a can. A decent sized can with ginseng and honey. It's been a while since I had one of those. And I'm gonna use this kind of as my makeshift plate. And inside, a classic, almost like a lunch school lunchtime bag is the accessory. Well, we got first I got the first I got the napkins there. Even from this angle, it is a wonderful sight. Have to get very creative. I don't really have an extended tripod and that tree there putting it in the oh I hear the I hear the parrots. Oh, the parrots are going by. You hear them up there squawking? Right above George's hamburgers. But as I was saying, I'm going to put the camera right here on the seat that way and face over towards the establishment. It might be just a little bit too shadowed out. And normally I don't like to have a bunch of traffic going in and out of the, you know, of the frame. I think I have it, I think I have it figured out. I think I have it. It's a little, very close, but that's okay. You're vicarious. You can enjoy this with me there. Oh yeah, it smells, it smells really good. Fries. Mmm. It's been a little while since I had fries. I've been opting for, you know, other options. Opting for options? That might be basically the same word used in two different... Basically the same word. Anyway. Pretty good fries. No waters today. Been getting two waters at most places. But this is like two beverages in one. I did not check the receipt to see if they abided by the 99 cent rule on this. But the total was under $10. It was like $9 and change for everything. Hello. So $9 and 20 cents, don't quote me on this, might be a penny or two off. Not a bad deal. I haven't bitten into it yet, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna definitely be worth the money. And I can see it right there. Right over there. Up oh, as an officer pulled someone over. Someone was in a, a real hurry. Someone was in a real hurry. It's gotta be good if they're giving someone a ticket for going a little too fast down this thoroughfare. Anaheim Boulevard runs parallel. Well, it might run parallel to Harbor, which is the next one over. Yeah, it does. If you go that way, it turns into a different road name, which runs parallel to Harbor. I digress. All packaged up and looking very wonderful, if I do say so myself. I can see the cheese there just kind of protruding outwardly from the bun. We got the little seeds on top of the bread. Oh, look. The juices are oozing down the side. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, there we go. You can kind of see in there a little bit more. 
Take a bite. Take a bite. I'm dropping some of the lettuce on my my pant leg. It's happening. Mm. Motorcycle officer has now left the scene. He did not go in and order anything. It could maybe be their secret sauce. A lot of places use a thousand island type of dressing as a secret sauce. Cannot confirm or deny that's what they're using. But that's the first thing I would think of. Tomato's really good. When I was younger, a youth, I didn't like tomatoes at all. So get those tomatoes out of here. Get them the heck out of here. Now I, I prefer them. I should have kind of planted myself somewhere else. But I'm already, I'm already, I'm all in. There is a bird. Serenade, I take back what I said. This is the spot. There is a bird serenading me from that no parking sign right there. Showcasing that I'm not, I'm not saying I'm a messy eater, but I am in the bottom percentile of those who are very neat when they eat. I get all into it. I love food. I look forward to lunch each day. Mostly because I don't eat a lot in the evening. I eat this one meal, and then at night, around 6 or 7 p.m., I will have a salad, usually a spinach salad from a prepackaged container. Put it on a plate. Well, it's like a fresh container, but it's in like a plastic container. And then I'll throw a good couple of helpings, spoonfuls of cottage cheese on there, and some light ranch dressing. And that's what I have for evening. And it makes it makes me feel comfortable at night where I don't have like a full, full belly, like eating something this heavy. And that's been my routine through the course of not the entire this entire series, but the last week or two, that's what I've been doing. And I feel really good. I feel really dang good. But by this time of the day, by by around noon, give or take, I'm pretty hungry. You have to really use your imagination on where to where to get the proper camera angles to really showcase the location. Completed the hamburger. Now I just gotta just gotta dive into the rest of these fries. Not too heavily salted. There's a little, a little salt on them, and maybe some other seasonings. But the little nibble that I had leads me to believe the rest of them will be just as good. Difficult to. Hold the camera. Perfected it. You're back, I say. Well, no, I, I'm. You know, I, no, I'm. I'm pointing at your front. Your back's around the other side, but I mean, you're back. You're. 
your back to say hello. I asked how long they had been going strong. They said 50 plus years, never closed. There could possibly be, be a little asterisk after that fact, you know, based on what's been happening. But they've been doing takeout, ooh. I can't zoom in from here, but I just saw a, a huge flame go up. Wow, that was awesome. It is seriously, when they say charbroiled, that's what they're doing in there. I can see it from here. It's gone now, with just like one quick little burst. Yeah, you can't really see in there. We well, can see in the door, but you can't see the, the flame has dissipated. Now you can really see the other seasonings that are down in there. That is not your typical salt. Look, you can see the, yeah. There we go. You're probably taking a gander at me from over there saying that's the guy that came in here asking a couple questions about our history filming the lobby area and the menu they thought they were rid of me they thought I was gonna go elsewhere and now they're probably as they're in there preparing their delicious meal for the next customer seeing me over here thinking this is probably gonna be on the internet and if they aren't thinking that they think I've lost my mind be a balance of both and I know it can seem a little unusual but I do enjoy showcasing local eateries usually within an hour of my place this isn't too far this is only a few miles this is closer than some which brings me to this point uh, the thing I like about this where the series is going or where it has gone I I have a number in mind of when I'm gonna stop it but I might go before then I might go a little longer but I have an idea of a pinpointed stopping point date wise but what I was think, what I was trying to say is the thing I enjoy about it, it's a nice mixture. Some places need no introductions. They are so iconic to Southern California, LA, Orange County areas that it's just, you know, when, when they're presented, it's like, I know that place. I've seen it, whether on TV or heard about it through, you know, word of mouth. And there's others like, like what I'm showing that might just be a kind of a mom and pop type, type of fair. Not a fair, but a, a mom and top, mom and pop type place. And then other ones have a deep meaning for me. They might be an establishment that's like, why did he go there? Everyone's been there. It's kind of just a real basic type of place. But I like to put a little personal spin in it and, you know, have a little heart to heart and talk and, you know, get out what I am feeling, what I am thinking. So it's a mixture of those three or four things. Whoo, I'm really feeling that. The peppering in of whatever. I just dropped one on the ground. Dang it, one just fell out onto the sidewalk. It's okay, I have plenty more. In fact, I don't even know if I'm going to finish all these. It's getting pretty full. The seasoning, though, is really drifting down to the bottom of the package. A lot of flavor. Just still whistling away. That's going to do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. Helps keep you in the loop and up to know future uploads here on this channel. Take it a step further. Ring that notification bell. And if you enjoyed this particular episode, give it a big thumbs up. Let's me know. You care. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is... Whoa, that's way zoomed in. The vlog is over. I was sitting next to these the whole time. Something has burrowed itself into the ground.